You need a license for that, mate. Oh, yes. In England, you know, we need a license. We did need a license in the old days to listen to the radio. The radio license started in November 1923. The Wireless Telegraphy Act of 1923. You know, we're very precious in Great Britain about our radio waves and having a license for this and a license for that. We needed a radio license. And then, of course, television came along. Oh, we need a bigger license for that. In 1946, they thought we'd better get a license for the TV as well. If you're going to buy a TV, you'll need a license for that. And that was in 1946, and the TV license then cost two pounds. Quite a lot of money, uh, really, for 1946, I would say. But then in 1971, we were all given a bit of a break. Because in 1971, the radio part of it was abolished. So you were quite welcome to tune into any radio station, anywhere around the world, and you didn't need a license at all. Today, uh, we pay £159 a year. Uh, and that allows us to watch BBC iPlayer and any live transmission from an official TV station. Just to simplify it or complicate it, if the sound of music comes on BBC One at 8 o'clock and you've not got a licence, you can't watch it. But what you could do is go to Netflix and, and download it from Netflix uh, and because that's on demand, you could watch it. There's a lot of great YouTubers do videos about what you can and can't watch without a license. So I won't get too deeply into that. But I hope that gives you a little bit of history there of the TV license here in the United Kingdom, uh, the money of which goes to the BBC. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This has been a Long in the Tooth television production. Subscribe to Peter's channel for more short bites of information for the radio generation. Oh.